Live in high definition, here's your News Channel 3 Viper radar forecast with meteorologist Dominus Brown. A live look over Virginia Beach, the ocean front here, our camera, top of the Hilton at 31st Street. Mostly cloudy skies out there. We've seen a little bit of rainfall over the course of the day, still seeing some showers out there too. But with our weather headlines, we're talking about 80s for tomorrow, feeling more like summertime for a couple of areas. A cold front will bring us more showers, possibly some thunderstorms into Saturday. Then we're tracking high temperatures cooling off into the 50s and 60s behind the cold front. Right now, live by for radar, we are tracking a few scattered showers across the area right now. We've been talking about rainfall for today over the past week. Here we go. They are scattered, so not everybody's seeing the rainfall, but it's moving from south to north. So through the Great Bridge area of Chesapeake, now through Kempsville and Virginia Beach, crossing over into Norfolk now, and a few more showers over the Ocean View area and Shore Drive in Virginia Beach. A couple more showers are beginning to move now to the northern reaches of Suffolk and trying to move a little bit closer to Portsmouth as well. And a couple showers just to the north and south of downtown Suffolk. So Suffolk, you will, at least downtown areas, will get a little bit more rainfall very soon. And to the north we go over the eastern shore. We're seeing a few showers pushing off the bay here. Moving towards Townsend, Cape Charles as well, pushing out of the Hampton and Pocosin areas. Just a couple light showers still possible for you. And we're going to track those showers out of Norfolk very soon. Now, as we take a look at a wider perspective here, there's a lot of dry weather. Uh, but we are watching this cold front producing showers and thunderstorms over portions of the Great Plains in the Midwest right now. This will be our weather maker into the weekend and the next several days after that. As the front moves to the east, it has a good deal of real estate to cover before it makes its way here. So tomorrow will be a dry day. But as we zoom in here, you're going to notice the cold front will move through. It's going to bring the moisture with it and that chance of showers and thunderstorms because yeah, we're talking about this front moving into some very warm, humid air. So we'll have that chance going into at least Saturday afternoon. Then by Sunday, a lot of the day will be dry. So with Vipercast, as we go through tonight and through this evening, we're going to call for mostly cloudy skies. A couple showers are possible. The rain chances will be going down as we move deeper into the nighttime hours. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, waking up to some fog. Could be dense at times. Eventually that fog will lift. We're going to see some sunshine as we go through the day, so really not a bad end to the week. But as we go into our Saturday, I want you to time it out because we do have some plans out there for us. This is 6 a.m. Mostly cloudy skies, a chance of showers as the front approaches. Then we head towards noon time, and there you go with the line of showers and thunderstorms pushing through. And there could be heavier downpours and maybe even some thunder and lightning out there too. So it's stretching from the eastern shore, the middle peninsula, the lower peninsula here into our inland areas, and then moving through Norfolk, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, and even for northeastern North. Carolina by four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so this is going to be one of those times that we need to be Viper ready. I'm going to be here in the Viper Forecast Center through the weekend. Look at the temperatures, though. We take a look at some of the highs across the nation. Look at all that warmth. Look at all that cold. Well, that's where the cold front is right now. We're going to get the warmth for tomorrow. So we're talking about lower 80s and even some upper 70s for south side or inland areas too. How about temperatures for Williamsburg around 83, 79 for Hampton and Newport News, 76 in Melfa and for northeastern North Carolina, 80 for Elizabeth City, 80 degrees in Hereford. Yeah, it is November. Won't feel like it. Look at the temperatures as we go through noontime tomorrow. After we deal with the fog, it will dissipate, giving way to high temperatures around 81 degrees on average. Then the next seven days in a viper forecast shows a cool down upper 50s and low 60s by Sunday afternoon. That's going to be a shock to the system. Overnight lows into the low and mid 40s, 63 degrees by Monday, Tuesday around 66 and a chance of rainfall by then too. So we have to deal with the showers, thunderstorms, the cold front moving through a whole lot this going on over the next few days. Might be the last of the 80s for a long <laughs> while. Might be. That's right. Make your outdoor plans now That's for the right. Monday. Exactly. Thanks.